guys welcome back to my channel okay sorry it's been forever but you know whatever i was going through some stuff and i'll i'll do like a where i've been or like updated q a video i don't know just so we can talk a little bit about that but let's just get into the video shall we because it's been forever so i thought i'd do like a talk through get ready with me since i miss this talk talking to you guys kind of and it's gonna be a super long video, but that's just that's just okay. That's just what it's gonna be. So um, to get started, I'm just gonna prime my face with the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. I feel like I like talk throughs because I can explain the products I use and why I use them and why I chose I chose this moisturizer over all the other moisturizers. So yeah, um, I finally went and bought this because. I've been sampling it forever and I really, really love it. It's super nice and lightweight, but it's still hydrating. I feel like I want a foundation, I mean a moisturizer that's hydrating, so sort of thick, but still lightweight so it eventually dries down because if you get like the super thick, really hydrating foundation, they just feel like super like pore clogging even though it might not be the case, but that's just what it feels like to me. So, I really love this one. Again, it's the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. I got, I got it at Sephora. And it says it's non-comedogenic, so it doesn't clog your pores. Um, it's Their line is perfect for sensitive skin. So, I, when I'm ever, whenever I'm doing like um, a makeover at Sephora or whatever, I always grab this because everybody, like it's good for all skin types. So, I just take a pump. So I'm going to be looking at my little laptop for little references because I have samples of a couple of products that I took from work yesterday that I'm trying out for the first time before I buy them. So um, I don't have the bottle to like read off of what it is or whatever. So yeah, don't mind me. So now I'm going to take the new Bobbi Brown primer. It is um, a skin smoothing pore perfecter. Um, so yeah, it just looks like a little black bottle. I got a sample of it. I'm going to try it out. I felt it on my hand last night and it just felt so like smooth. It feels really nice and soft and it smells like tea. It smells really good. So for my foundation, I'm going to take um, this new Laura Mercier foundation. This is my second day using it. I really, really love it. It's their new Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation. It goes for $48. I'm going to buy it. I'm just waiting because um, we get a little extra discount in the next coming weeks. So, but, oh my gosh, everybody should go and get a sample and try it out for yourself because it's really awesome. The only thing that sucks about it is they don't have my shade. So either I go too dark or, I don't know, I'm trying this new shade today, but I still feel like it's probably not a perfect shade. But that's okay. Um, so they have the Silk Cream Foundation, the original, which is oil-free. It's a matte finish. It's really pretty on the skin. I compare it to Kat Von D kind of because it's kind of thick like that. It's not as thick, but it's like if you were to water it down just a tiny bit. Like it's still pretty thick. But the shade I'm trying today is Rose Ivory because um, the shade I wore yesterday was Cream Ivory, which I like better because it has just, I don't know, it's like the skin tone that I'd ideally like to be. Band. Cream Ivory, uh, whatever, um, Rose Ivory. It's just more pinker. When I put it on my hand, it's like blended right into my skin. So we're gonna try that today. And I've been really loving my um, It Cosmetic brushes recently. So I just take a little bit and just like put it all over. Okay, sorry about that. I was trying to see, fix the light and whatever. I'm really tired. It looks like I'm really tired. So yeah. So that's what the foundation looks like. With like more of a natural light. Okay, so I just decided to do my brows off camera because it takes forever for me to do them. And this video would be forever long, like three hours, I feel like, if uh, we did this in real time. So I just used the Anastasia Deep Brow and soft brown. I love this stuff and I just used uh, 
and gold liner. 15 brush from Sephora is discontinued, but it's the best brush because it's super thin. So, yeah. That's that. This side looks dark. But whatever. So now I'm going to take <coughs> some concealer. I'm just going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20 and put that as my eyeshadow primer. I like using a concealer as my eyeshadow primer because it pops whatever eyeshadow you put on top of it. So I'm going to use my Awesome Z palette and these are all Bare Minerals eyeshadows that I have. Um, some Inglot, but they're mostly all Bare Minerals. These are some NARS. But I don't know what this, sh this shade is called, but I'm just going to use that and put that all over, all over the way. It's just like this really pr pretty bronzy gold color. So yeah. I'm just going to take this Sephora Blending uh, Eyeshadow Brush number 29. It's equivalent to the 217 brush from MAC. They're insanely pigmented and just so soft. It's like a creamy powder, if that makes sense. Just a Sonia Keshek blending brush. So, yeah. so then I'm gonna take this really cute um, crown brush, Deluxe Crease IB119. Why can't they just like be simple, like number 15? Crown brush. Why do you have to be so difficult? Because like, if I go to find this on the website, I have to go look for Delete Deluxe 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 Crease Brush IB119. Like that is so complex. I love crown brushes, so I definitely recommend. Look how cute this like tapered blending brush is. It's so cute. What the hell? I don't know if you guys heard that, but like people are going. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> Someone sounds like he's going Hulk on somebody. Um, I'm taking this uh, Bare Minerals eyeshadow. It's just like this really nice light colored one. And I'm just gonna put that in the uh, inner tear duct. I need to take public speaking classes or something because I just I don't know how to speak. All right. Then I'm gonna take this awesome, I think this is by Morphe. Nope, just kidding. This is by Crown Brush again. It's the Pro Blending Crease Brush in C441. What? Okay, seriously, this guy's like angry at his car. Like what? Like he you don't need to be yelling all crazy like that. He sounded he sounds like a lunatic. He's like, why are you doing this to me, car? But like yelling and like extreme profanity. Profanity. Whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna take the crown brush and take this really dark brown color. So the other day I bought a new um, gel eyeliner in the number 77 by Inglot, but I also purchased the Inglot Duraline. So if you don't know what the Inglot Duraline is, it's basically a special transforming liquid that will turn any Inglot powder eyeshadow into a liquid form formulation. Inglot gel liner number 77, blackest eyeliner, most waterproof um, gel liner you can use on your waterline. It's all what I always use on my waterline anymore because I can wear it from like 9 a.m. to like 12 p.m. or like 12 a.m. the next day. Like it's crazy. Stuff stays on your waterline. It doesn't budge. 
unless you put a ton of it if you put a ton of it it'll come down just like any other um what do you call it eyeliner so the deal with this is it dries out really really fast i don't know if you can see it looks like all weird so look at it looks like i destroyed it i bought the dura line i took it was like dried out for the most part and i put like two drops of this and it revived it again i know they say you can use um visine like the eye drops but the problem is when you use visine eye drops and you put it in this gel liner it makes it creamy again just like this but it doesn't give that waterproof film or seal to it so this is awesome because it makes it into a waterproof it makes it waterproof again so I love it ever okay so like everybody needs one of these and they're only $14 and you get so much product like there is 5.5 grams in this it's amazing so just take a big chunk of it put it on the back of my hand let's start doing my eyeliner I follow the lower lash line by the way I've been trying to teach this to everyone that walks into Sephora it's like I can't do wing liner and one is always like up or down so I have a problem with my red eye, it's either lazy, sagging, I don't know what it is. It just doesn't look, it's not, like, the left eye is more lifted, youthful looking, I don't know, whatever. Um, but I feel like I have this problem. So, I figured out a new solution. Instead of following the top lash line, because the top lash line will droop over time, I follow the lower lash line and work my way up. And if you try that, let me know if it helps you. It just, it's amazing. So. So now it's coming to life again, again. Oh, by the way, I mixed the Dura line in with my Anastasia Dip Brow because the top was getting a little dry and it just revived it. It's amazing. I'm gonna take the new Benefit um, Roller Lash Mascara like this. That's the tip, that's what it looks like. It's pretty awesome. Um, the original, their real is definitely my favorite still. So. Now I'm going to take um, the Dior Skin Nude Hydrating Concealer in the shade um, 01 and 02. I just mix them together. After the, um, I put my concealer on, I'm just going to take that same brown color that I used in my crease and put it on my lower lash line. Okay, so after I do that, I'm just going to take more of that brown and add it to my crease because I want a little more depth. Then I'm going to add the eyeliner um, to the inside of my eye. I just take like a dinky, um, I've been using this uh, Urban Decay eyeliner that I rarely use because it's so small, like what am I going to do? I don't know. So I just dip it into the gel liner. So I'm just going to take the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit and go in with the shade Cinnamon and this badass brush from, where is it, whatever, can't 
can't find it. So I'm just gonna use this brush from It Cosmetics. Just take a little bit, because a little goes a long way. It's very warm. And I, I think they're coming out with um, cooler tones, but. And this is the light palette. And then I just take a little bit on my finger. Warm it up. Just get up the sides of the right now. So I feel like when you use your fingers like that, and you just go straight down, um, it's so much more accurate. You get like a parallel line than if you do this and you're like trying to do it on the other side. It's just it doesn't work on the left side. You can do it perfectly on the right side, but I feel like, at least me, I struggle. So I'm just going to take the Sony Keshek Stippling Brush. Okay, now I'm going to take my favorite um, setting powder. It looks so crazy right now, but don't worry, I'm going to blend it out. This is the Best of Me um, Translucent Brightening French Vanilla Powder. It smells like French Vanilla. It's amazing. Oh, it smells so good. It's like a yellow powder, so it reminds me of Banana Powder by Anastasia, Beverly Hills. But it's loose. And it's still fine like that, so I really like it. So I'm just going to take my Morphe. Where are you? My Morphe um, M438 brush. It's just like the Sigma one, but it's cheaper. Ding, ding, ding. Um, and I put it, I shake it out in the lid, and I just pack it on. So it's like banana powder from Benai, but not as thick and chunky, if you know what I mean. But still silky smooth, like the banana powder from Anastasia. Smooth it looks. It's just so blurred. I just love it. I think I'm going to wear the Naughty Me Lashes by Velour, which are actually these. They're super pretty. Um, the only thing is, I'm going to go wash them. So if you um, wash them, that's what's nice about Velour Lashes. I feel like you can wash them and that's how you get to wear them 25 times. Um, cause I've seen these videos and everyone's like, oh, you can't wear them up to 25 times, they start shedding or whatever. I don't know what you're doing to your lashes, that you were like plucking the hairs out of it or something. Um, yeah, they shed, like, the really full ones shed just a tiny bit, but it's not like they're sparse. Um, I will do a full video on the misconceptions of Allure Lashes because I'm very passionate about that. But... These are awesome. If you get married, you need velour lashes, let me tell you. I'm so mad. I was telling my office the other day, I'm so mad I didn't know about velour. I wore some like dinky, like cheap ass, like super lame lashes on my wedding day. So you gotta wear some velours, you know what I'm saying? These are awesome. So I'm going to go wash them and I'll be right back because the glue comes right off if you just put them in a little water and it still holds the shape. That's why they're amazing. So I'll be right back. So I got these awesome tweezers. Um, they're meant for eyelash, eyelash extensions, and they look like this, and they're amazing, because they just really just like grip, I don't know, I love them, um, I got them when I was in LA, 
and I don't remember the name of the store, but it's in like um, Fashion District, I think that's what it's called. But yeah, they were like a dollar or two. They're awesome. So I just use um, Duo Lash Glue. I'm just gonna put those on. Look at these lashes, they're just so perfect. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So yeah, that's with them on. I encourage everyone to at least go on eBay and look for the eyelash extensions. German stainless steel tweezers, because they're the bomb. Okay, so I gotta hurry because I've been slacking and I got to get to work. So, I'm just gonna add a little more shadow to smoke it out. Um, lower lash mascara. Finish my cheeks, my lips. Oh my gosh, I gotta do so much. I gotta get dressed. Lower lash mascara. For cheeks, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple still. Just taking the Tarte Fan Brush and Soft and Gentle by MAC. I take it really low and really high. That's because my scarf covers like when I wear it more traditionally. Then I'm gonna take this awesome Estee Lauder Pure Color in Topaz Chameleon. I got this from Glambot.com. It's where you can buy used makeup. The link will be down below. Um, they have like different makeup fluctuating in and out. It's really cool, but it's a really dark, shimmery bronzer. But it looks really pretty, like to accentuate your contour, if that makes sense. So, I need a brush for it. I'm going to take the Maybelline what is this? Superstay 14 hour lipstick. It's my favorite pink and perpetual peony, at least from a drugstore that is. I'm gonna go over my eyeliner with some liquid liner and then I'm done. I'm gonna go get dressed. Then I'm gonna bring back my scarf and just like show you how I wrap it up. So yeah. Okay, so I put on my work uniform. This little, well you guys know, if you have Sephora, what we wear. If you guys don't have Sephora, like my London peeps, I shall stand on a chair for you. It's just like this dress. It looks like this in the back. Little outfit of the day in the video. So yeah. And then, I just wear black leggings underneath and like thigh high boots. Verona Collection just posted all their scarves and I got all of them. And they're really amazing. I think they're like $11. And they're awesome, really long viscose hijabs. Perfect for turban tying or just wearing the traditional way. So they're very long. And it's got this beautiful satin trim on it. So they're see-through if you um, just wear it like one-sided. But if you double it up and you have a hijab cap. See, like if you have a hijab cap, like you can't really see. So it's really awesome. They're my new favorite hijabs. I'm totally obsessed with it. And yeah. Perfect for summertime, and they come in so many different colors. Turquoise, brown, they have two separate pink colors. So it's like a baby pink, which is right here, and then the rose, like, it's like the darker pink. They're really awesome. I love, the, I love all the colors, and you'll see me wearing them in all my videos because I feel like this is all I'm going to wear now. So... Definitely check them out. Um, the link will be down below or you can just uh, put it 
it's www.verona-collection.com. They're on Instagram as well. They're amazing. They have this thing can stop getting out of focus. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So I just made a triangle with one side. Line it up with my cap. Like so. I'm going to pin it with uh, the no snag pin. And then I wrap it around once. I do this little tuck and fold thing. So that it goes around your bun properly. Leave this part out because that's what we're tying it to. Just wrap it around again. And I've been like liking the, this uh, bow look kind of right here. So I just like tie it on the side, right there. And that's the finished the job look. I'm sorry you've seen this tutorial a million times, but I, why not repeat it for those that haven't? So that's that. And then I'm just gonna go to work. I hope you guys like this talk through video. Um, thanks so much for staying subscribed and for subscribing. If you're new, I have a really exciting video coming up, and it will be a giveaway as well. And, um, I really want to do more giveaways the more I put out videos. Um, inshallah, when I start making more videos again, once I get into a routine, um, if I don't film a video that week, I'm going to be doing a giveaway as, like, a punishment to me and to reward you guys for staying subscribed. So if I, um, give me, like, a month, I think, like, um, once we're in May or, like, mid-May, I want to at least put out two videos a week if I don't put out two videos a week. I have to do a giveaway so more for you guys less for me but even so if I do do videos I'll still do a giveaway hopefully but it'll just be like if I don't do two videos up to do I have to do two giveaways so yeah hold me to that okay cool or bash me in the comments below you know if I don't so that'll like be encouragement I guess but yeah this is the finished look see when I contour so crazy and wear hijab it, it settles it like it tones it down and it just looks like perfect because you can like see it that's why i need to do it dramatic so you can still see it so yeah um i got the new anastasia this is by the way not for sale it's just like sent to us for like marketing purposes but they are really really creamy they're beautiful i can't wait to do a swatch video they came in this really cute package if you could buy them, I, I, I wish they could make these for sale. I don't know why they don't. They're amazing. But yeah, I got all the colors. They're super cute packaging. And I'll do that for you guys, inshallah, soon. Okay, don't forget to check out Verona Collection hijabs down below if you want to see the scarves and what, what they have. They're amazing. And Lisa's amazing. And I just think it's so awesome what she's done with the company. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, inshallah. Salam so like